can sarcoidosis cause blindness? Um, yeah, it can. Um, permanently or, or temporarily. It's, um, it's, it's a bit of a nasty thing, really, isn't it? I mean, um, what happens is... Well, what happened with me, actually, I was down at BBC doing some um, recordings on a programme called Genius. A friend of mine took me down and my eyes had packed in. I'd been coughing for a while anyway, but my eyes just went really, really stupid. For you lot who've had, you know, your gritty... Gritty eyes, yet runny eyes and dry eyes. Your eyes just go completely stupid. And I wouldn't things first of all that you've really got to insist on. If you've got bad eyes and you do go to docs or whatever, or hospital A and E like I did, um, don't take this answer. You're just having a migraine. You're just having a bit of an headache. You're just having this. You're having that. You know, you've got to stamp your feet and get these people to check them out. Because the earlier you can find out that sarcoid might be causing a problem with your eyes. Um, earlier you can find that out, the better. Because um, mine developed into bilateral uveitis, which attacks both eyes in a nutshell. Uh, um, um, pupils and stuff in your eyes and what have you, technical words or whatever. Stuff in your eyes, technical words. Uh, they stop functioning. Uh, and that's kind of quite scary. And when I were at hospital with that, um, and medics have got to say what they've got to do. They say, oh yeah, uh, it's bilateral uveitis. One in ten people can go blind with this. It's like, whoa scary business so pick it up as soon as you can i mean these treatments what bilateral uveitis but the longer you go with bad eyes you know brought on by sarcoid the more damage you'll start getting done uh, mine are all right at the moment they can vary from day to day but if i kind of look that way and look that way ooh, i've got good eyes here but mine usually happens on outside of these here and they can go really badly bloodshot and then I might get these dots going on the side of here and little black spaces or whatever. Um, so that's that's quite important and, and it's actually an early sign of sarcoid so if you've got this problem with your eyes and you don't know and they just run although they might feel gritty and things that's daft things about it all um, go, go to medics but don't let them just tell you you're having a migraine or whatever you've got to you know, you've got to get in there, get to see a proper eye specialist, go to main people, not just A&E people, because they do jack of all trades, don't they? Uh, it can cause blindness, yeah. Um, but catch it early, you'll be all right. But, it's, it, you know, it, it can be temporary as well. But it's a scary business when your eyes start going, ooh, scary business. Well, I hope that's helped and put into some um, sort of plain English. But you can click a link. I've done a good write-up on bilateral uveitis and you can see links somewhere. Is it below here or above here or whatever? Uh, but you know, it'll be below water. Click on that and have a good read. All right then.